Hey everyone, I'm Nitij and in this video, I will show you how you can use the JavaScript code to convert text input to a speech in a variety of different voices. It simply means that you can make the JavaScript code speak in text input by using the browser. You don't need any external third-party code library to implement this, so this is an added advantage. There could be so many areas where speech synthesis can have tremendous usage. For instance, for interactive applications and games, the speech synthesis API can be pretty useful. Other areas could be educational apps where the app can dictate the course, content or lessons to the students without them reading the text. As of now, the latest versions of Chrome and Firefox support the speech API. So first I will talk about the basic building blocks which we need to use for speech synthesis. Then after that I will show a short code example to demonstrate how to use the API in JavaScript code. And these are some of the areas where the speech API can be pretty useful which I have already told you like some games or educational apps or financial apps etc. So the primary interface which is used to create a speech is the speech synthesis interface. This interface provides many features by using which we can provide a variety of voices in different pitches and tones. Then there is the get voices function which uh, we can use to get a list of all available voices and this function will return the list of voices and this is basically done by the operating system in which the browser is running because every major operating system has some kind of speech synthesis and speech recognition features and the browser uses them to make a speech API work. The type of voices returned from the get voices function is of a speech synthesis voice type and we primarily need the name of the voice for this example but it can be better if we also know about the language of the voice which we are using. Then there is the speech synthesis utterance constructor which should be used to input the text that we want the API to convert to speech. We can configure the utterance object by providing values like voice, pitch, rate, etc. Alright, now let's move on to the code example. But before that, I would like to request you all that if you think you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. By doing this, you will obviously always be the first to know about any new video updates which I am making regularly. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code to write the code example and what I will do over here is that I will first create a list of the voices which are available in the operating system and from that list we can pick the voice which we want to use to speak the text which we can input and then there will be an input to provide the text input and then there will be a button which can be clicked whenever we want the text to be converted to speech. So first I am going to add an HTML file which is index.html and then um, let me just close this pane. So first let's add the, um, the select input to list the voices and we don't need the name let's set the id as voice list and then let's add the input to input the text which we uh, want to convert to speech let's call it um i don't know let's call it txt input and then finally we will need a button which um, can be clicked to convert the text which we will input in this input field into um, a speech so let's set the id as btn speak and i think we also need some line breaks All right, now after this, in the script element, first we need to get the references of all these three items, of all these three elements. So the first one is the voice list. And 
and then similarly we can get the references of the text input and the button and then after that I am simply going to get the reference of the speech synthesis interface which I told you about which we need to use to convert text to speech so that is a speech synthesis and then we will also need an array to um, hold the list of voices which we will fetch now to uh, fetch the list of voices I'm going to create a function let's call it get voices and in this function I'm going to fill the um, voices array by calling the get voices of this um, speech synthesis interface and then it's time to um, add the options to this um, select input so for that I am going to use simple HTML code so first let's clear out the you know, HTML although it should already be cleared but still it's a um, good practice whenever we are populating any um, control so after clearing it out what I will do is for um, every voice which has been populated in this array in this voices array I am um, iterating over each of them so this for each accepts a function as an argument which will be called for every individual voice and then we can create individual list items so document dot create um, element and then we can give the name of the element this should be option and then let's add some or let's set some properties for this list item first of all we need to set the text content of the um, of the option so it is going to be the um, the name of the voice and then uh, what I will do is I will set some attributes for this um, for this list item which we can later use to um, fetch the information about the selected voice so for that we can simply use the set attribute function and then we can provide the name of the attribute which we want to use first one is going to be for the language of the voice and then the name let me just increase the size of the window yep that's much better all right so finally we can append this list item to the uh, voice list select input so for that we can use the append child function now finally we also need to set the um, selected index of this voice list so we can do that by setting the selected index property and that should be it for this function now we need to call this get voices function to uh, fill this select input with all the available voices for this operating system and for that we can simply call this function now there is a catch here for firefox whenever the get voices function will be called then this select input will be filled by the list of available voices but for chrome we need to do something different we need to wire up the on voices changed event with this function because um, the event will be fired whenever the list of voices will be fetched and to do that first we need to check if the speech synthesis is available or not and then we can simply set the on voices changed event with this um, get voices function and that should be pretty much it now the last thing for this example to work which we need to do is to 
create a click event handler for this button so because whenever we will click on this button the code should convert the text which we have input into a speech and let's do that so we can wire up a function in the click event so whenever the button will be clicked then first we need to get or create an object using the constructor of speech synthesis utterance and excuse me and then this will accept the um, value of the txt input and then we need to get the um, voice which has been selected and selected voice name can be fetched by simply um, getting the selected options um, attribute for the voice name which is the data name and we can do that by calling the get attribute function and then we need to provide the name of the attribute and that is the data name and then um, we need to iterate over the voices to match the name with the uh, one which is available in this array and then when we will have found one then uh, we can use that voice for this um, speech synthesis utterance object all right now if the voice dot name is equals to this selected voice name then we can set the voice that we need to use with the um, currently iterated um, voice in this voices array and then finally we can speak this utterance this true speak utterance which we have just created and that should be it now um, I'm going to open this page by using the live server extension which should open up the or which should run the web page on a locally created server on the localhost support 5500 so let's do that now first let me check if there is any error or not I think it's working now let me just put on my headphones to check if the um, if this code example is working or not okay so the voices are listing in this select input and these are the voices which have been provided by the um, Windows 10 operating system on which I am running this code example and the default one is this one which is selected so now let's add some text input to see if the code is working correctly or not and nothing is happening so let's see if there is an issue so it says cannot read property zero of undefined so okay this is i think a typo uh, let's try again hello world all right so the js code is speaking the text which we have provided in this input now let's try to change the voice and see if the text is being spoken in a different voice or not hello world hello world so i guess the code is working as hello world expected now all the all of these different voices which have um, um, different languages after them the pronunciation is kind of different so that is expected Hello world. these are meant for a different language other than english so hello world 
all right so i guess the example is working and that's uh, pretty much it i guess for this video guys so i hope that you have understood what i have um, tried to explain here and if you have any questions then please feel free to use the comments section or if you have any um, other suggestion which you think you want to see in for this video or for any other um, video for that matter you can just tell me about it and just add the comment for it and if you like the video then please place a like and also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and you will be the first to know about any new video updates so i will see you in the next one till then have a great day